My name is Duddy, so I do builds and stuff, and today I've got a stasis support build that is absolutely cracked for in-game activities. We are going to be pairing the Appetence with the Cenotaph Mask. Uh, infinite heavy for your teammates, as we know what the Cenotaph Mask does. I'll break it all down, but this build is absolutely crazy. You're going to give your teammates infinite heavy, infinite orbs, and you're going to be able to infinitely slow spawns down and clear rads with this build as well. So it is a support build but it's actually really good for clearing ads as well, so stay tuned. The first part of the build will be based around the Cenotaph Mask. Steadily reloads a portion of your equipped trace rifles, magazine from reserve, damaging a vehicle boss or champion, marks them as a target. When an ally defeats that marked target, special ammo is generated for you and heavy for your teammates. So you've got an infinite supply of special for yourself and heavy for your teammates. But the first part of it steadily reloads a portion of your equipped trace rifles, magazine from the reserves, Works really good with the Appetence. The Appetence is a stasis trace rifle. You get it this season. I haven't managed to craft it yet, but I've got Demolitionist on there. When I craft it, I'll probably take Demolitionist off, but it's not a bad perk. But the perk that makes it work really well with the Cenotaph is the Attrition Orbs. Dealing sustained damage creates an orb of power, which we will focus on a little bit more. I did a video on this recently. Attrition Orbs are absolutely brilliant for team play and yourself. And it works really well with the Cenotaph because it just reloads your Trace Rifle from reserves as well. Dragon's Vengeance, it's also got this one on there where it has a chance to refill your magazine and get bonus handling. But I'm not going to spend too much time on the actual Cenotaph Mask because I think we all know what it does. Just mark a target up, you're going to kill your teammates, will kill that target and that will drop your teammates heavy. And then it also drops yourself special as well, so you've got an infinite supply of special ammo for yourself and your teammates have an infinite supply of heavy as long as they get the kill now on the appetence the attrition orb that you can roll on there is really good for this build because dealing sustained damage creates an orb of power i've just got a quick example of this working together i've done the uh, build on attrition orbs just recently on how good these are so if you watched that video you'll know how good attrition orbs actually are but you're going to do sustained damage create plenty of orbs and again with the cenotaph mask you're going to be creating yourself special ammo your teammates heavy ammo and on top of that you're going to be creating loads and loads of orbs for your teammates as well with this roll now i just want to sort of focus again on the top part steadily reloads a portion of your equipped trace rifles so it's always going to reload your trace rifle with cenotaph mask so you can keep applying the damage and create loads and loads of orbs so it's a really good fit now again with attrition orbs, by sustaining damage you're going to create orbs, but we've got Whisper of Bonds as well, defeating frozen targets generates an orb of power, these all stack with attrition orbs. You've also got things like Harmonic Siphon, Rapid Stasis Kills, uh, create an orb of power, and then we've also got Reaper, every time you use your class ability you're going to spawn an orb. These all stack with attrition orbs, like I said I did do a video on it, I will link it, but not only doing sustained damage creates an orb, but you've got all these other things, Whisper of Bonds, Reaper, things like that, Siphon mods to add into the mix. So you can literally just run around and create an infinite amount of orbs of power for your teammates as well. And like I said, when I craft it, I will put the enhanced version of Attrition Orbs to make the orb bigger. That's what the, the enhanced version does. But you get the drift, create loads of orbs, marking enemies up for your teammates. Loads of special, loads of heavy, loads of orbs. And next thing I'm going to show you is how to take control of GM spawns and things like that with this setup as well. Now the main two aspects you want to be looking at is Bleak Watcher. Press and hold the grenade button to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles. Now if you pair this with the Ice Flare Bolts, shattering a frozen target, spawn seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. Just an absolutely insane set of aspects for end game stuff. You'll see in this clip what I'm doing is I'm putting my Bleak Watcher down and then on top of that all that's going to happen here is you're just going to literally control a full spawn on your own with absolute ease, really really easy and things are just dying like crazy honestly guys this build has got absolutely everything. You'll see in this clip one melee just bear in mind with the ice flare bolts this all chained from a one melee look at the state of that. A full spawn out of a door, which is like a bit of a problem area in this GM. So one melee started all that. Whisper of Jorance is pretty important because we are running two grenades like the Osmo Mansi. That makes your uh, turret last for an extra five seconds. Whisper of Bonds, which we've touched on, defeating a frozen target, creates an orb of power. The other two 
fragments are whisper of fishes increase the damage and the size and the best of stasis when you destroy the crystal or a frozen target and then whisper of shards every time you shatter that you get a big boost to your grenade recharge rate now with the seasonal artifact pack make these work really nice as well heal the storm shattering in case targets and stasis crystals deal increased damage Pillar of Ice, defeated in case combined, spawn stasis crystals. So you can do loads of damage as well with this build. It's not just the support. And then you've also got Dragon's Bite on there as well, where you've got a chance to freeze a target if you break the shield with a stasis weapon. Now, if you combine all these together, you've literally got an absolutely perfect build for end game activities. If you run stasis and you're a bit bored of running well, and you want to be a little bit more aggressive and aid your team, this build is an absolute monster. One melee, like I said, that with the ice flare bolts, or one freezy turret, it'll just infinitely chain things together. And on top of that, like I said, you are doing damage with the sta stasis artifact perks this season. Loads of shattering effect. But I've even got more to show you as well. You can even stick a solar weapon on. Something like hierarchy of needs, Tiku's epochal integration, Zowley's Bane, these are all working perfectly together because we're also taking advantage of the solar seasonal artifact perks. Flint Striker, Kindling Trigger, so we're always going to get Radiant and things like Rays of Precision as well and Torch all work together perfectly with this build. Now the combination of the seasonal artifact perks for Stasis and Rays of Precision is just an absolutely crazy, crazy setup. You're going to do loads of shattering damage with the Stasis Crystals that you're creating with the Ice Flare Bolts and your turrets and your melees and on top of that you've got Infinite Radiant with the correct weapons. So you can really take control of spawns, clear spawns, and again, I will clarify, you're going to give your teammates an absolute crap ton of orbs, a crap ton of heavy, and you've pretty much got infinite special for yourself. So it's an all-round top tier build. Now I'll just quickly go over my mods, because these are quite important too. Reaper, I like to start with this one, increases your attrition orbs as well. Every time you use your class ability, your next weapon kill spawns an orb of power. I like to run double bomber. These works pretty nicely to keep your uh, Bleak Watcher turret uptime pretty solid. I like to run on my boots, a harmonic scavenger. Stasis weapons get bonus reserves. Really, really good for uh, Cenotaph builds. Must have, in fact, stacks on stacks. Picking up an Arbor Power grants you one additional stack of armor charge. And I also run an Innovation, reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an Arbor of Power. On my Chest piece, you can sort of mix and match these up to whatever you wish. I always run a double void resistance and a concussive damp there, but you can change them up to whatever you wish. On my arms, I like to run a grenade kickstart. This is why I run stacks on stacks. So you get two armor charges for your grenade kickstart. It really helps with the uptime for your bleak watch there. Bolster with detonation. And then I also like to run a momentum transfer as well. Nice little loop for grenade and melee energy. And then on my helmet, Powerful Friends is a really good one to run because we're creating loads of orbs and you're picking them up. You're going to increase your teammate's armor charge by one as well. Harmonic Siphon, Rapid Stasis, Final Blows, creating all the power just from our orbs. And then, then Heavy Ammo Finder for yourself because you're already doing enough for your teammates. So there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. Really, really, really strong build for everything. C controlling spawns, really helping your teammate out. And you can actually do some really nice damage yourself. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.